I just saw Joey the Anime Man's latest um, latest episode of uh, Let's Fight. He was asking about the worst anime ever. Fans on Twitter uh, gave gave uh, gave him their responses, and three animes actually actually got ranted by these fans, and he and gave and Joey gave an explainer. All right. Up to now, well, and, and up to now, I am still um, beside myself as to why these fans stated Akira, Serial Experiments Lane, and Beastars to be um, the worst anime ever. Alright? <laughs> I still do not understand why. Alright? Serial Experiments Lane is... Uh, one third of what I call the Holy Trinity of Dementia. The other two being Higurashi and Perfect Blue. Okay. Akira, well, it's a classic anime movie. Alright? And Beastars? One of, one of the worst? Hello? Napanood ko yun. Ang ganda kaya na storyline. Alright? The graphics are so real. Okay? The graphics are so real, although CGI, para CGI type siya, pero, pino eh, okay? Which goes well with, with its very unique storyline. I don't know what year these fans were born. So as to, uh, let them, let them have the privilege of, uh, ranting these three great animes. I hope and pray that they're not millennials uh, or even Gen X. My usual suspect would be, well, they're part of Generation Z. Okay? The Gen Z crowd. Okay? It's a generation of fucking normies! Okay? Gen Z is a generation of anime normies. If they are, if they are Gen Zers, Then I'm not surprised as to why they find these three anime, uh, these three animes, uh, the worst. Because well, they don't know good anime when it, even when it stares them in the face. Aye, okay? even if it stares them in the face, I've proven that time and again. This generation knows nothing about anime. But anyway. It's just my, uh, it's just a theory of mine. Unless those three that ran the Beastars, Serial Experiments Lane, and Akira step forward and, uh, and, and, and tell me their ages, the usual suspects will be Gen Z. <sighs> they don't know classic animes when they watch one. 